Thank you very much, uh, Edward, and thank you very much, Gorman family, for hosting us tonight. Uh, it's, it's, I feel very excited to be uh, being able to present uh, my uh, book and my feelings to you because I see a lot of professionals and um, sh we share the same um, passion for food. But uh, with uh, Tatiana Hanum, who's presented uh, her Colombian kitchen, her family home, I was amazed uh, by the food you prepare and the, by the feelings you shared, with, because it's more or less the same. My book is the same. I love cooking food. I love sharing it with my friends and my family. And uh, uh, Eduard, we tried a few names for English, starting with entertaining entertaining at home or invitation tables well we haven't decided it yet my book is uh, uh, translated to English so um, I hope it will be published uh, soon also in English so that uh, everyone in the world can have a glimpse of Turkish uh, hospitality home cooking and Turkish tables um, Please allow me to introduce myself. I've studied uh, hotel and tourism management in Ankara, Turkey. I am from Turkey. I'm a Turkish woman. And I did my master's studies in entrepreneurial management and business administration in London. I am a businesswoman. I'm the second generation of a petroleum company. Uh, which is very familiar in Saudi Arabia. We work in Iraq, Yemen, Azerbaijan, Kazakhstan. So I have had the privilege and chance to host many international um, counterparts, business partners uh, at, at the home that I grew up and also at my home that I uh, live with my husband and my two children. So. Um, I know you're all professionals, so I don't want to bore you with how to organize a dinner party at home, but I gave all these information for the readers in my book, which is David um, Sofralara in Turkish. You can find it outside. And um, I wrote it in a way to help the reader, who is going to be the chef at home, right? to organize uh, very smoothly for up to 10 people. And um, uh, I know you are famil familiar with all these, uh, but uh, it's very important that uh, the person who is hosting at home organizes everything before, makes a list of the food, buys everything in advance and uh, maybe prepare the desserts a night before or things that could be uh, prepared a night before. And at the day of the um, dinner at home, uh, it's important that after preparing everything, you spend some time for yourself, uh, take a shower, get rid of the smell, and uh, prepare your tables, like you said, Tatiana, with tablecloths, flowers, seasonal colors. And uh, after that, you start sharing the joy, uh, the joy of sharing, the joy of um, feeding your friends and family or your business partners, really. Um, and by doing that, you may have help at home, but if you don't have help, you, you should always ask your spouse, your husband, wife, or your uh, close friend to help you with uh, your service. Because you will be uh, serving the food, you'll be chatting with your friends, but then again, you will also be preparing the food in the kitchen. So it's very important that you take help uh, from your friends. And... Um, these are the recipes, uh, some of the photos are from my book, and most of the recipes are my recipes, um, of course, and I have a lot of traditional Turkish dishes as well, and I have, uh, I've been inspired by my travels throughout the globe for my business purposes or for leisure purposes. 
And uh, I would say that these nine course meals are a typical Turkish um, dinner, let's say. We start with soups. So in my book, I wrote 12 menus for 12 months and I added a soup for each month. And we have cold appetizers in Turkey. We cook our cold appetizers in olive oil. You know, Turkey is a great olive oil producer. And it's a very typical way of cooking food. And we have mezes, appetizers. Um, and we tend to use olive oil in them as well. So we have, uh, in a tur typical Turkish um, table, we will have four or five cold appetizers, including a salad. And um, we will then need to serve a hot appetizer. And of course, for the main course, um, a meat dish or a fish and um, accompanied by with um, rice or veggies uh, and things like that. And I almost always prefer a fruity dessert because by the time the food finish, everyone, everyone feels so full. So I don't uh, want to push people with um, sugary uh, Turkish classic uh, desserts. So, um, I would also like to mention uh, that I am a home chef as well and uh, I started writing in 2015. Davet Sofraları is my second cookbook. My first cookbook is El Ne Sağlık Anneciğim, which is a book about weaning toddler baby food. I started writing to support university students uh, from underprivileged backgrounds. With my two cookbooks, I have had the privilege to support tens of university students. Um, I'm the president of an educational fund, um, which is 30 years old and set up by my father and by my late father and late mother. And uh, there we support hundreds of university students. So. Um, this is, uh, this is not only a cookbook. Um, when people buy this book, they also uh, make sure that uh, successful students from underprivileged backgrounds are uh, getting their scholarships from our charity as well. Uh, so yes, uh, thank you very much for listening. If you're interested to hear more, I have social media pages as well. And I truly enjoy being a part of this community, so thank you.